In this video we'll briefly discuss what is pantoprazole, how it works, what it's used for, the dose and side effects, contraindications and precautions. Pantoprazole belongs to a category of drugs called proton pump inhibitors. It suppresses the secretion of gastric acid, by combining with an enzyme located on the gastric parietal cells, called hydrogen potassium ATPase, which is the final pathway for acid secretion. And this decreases hydrogen ion transport into gastric lumen, leading to reduction of the secretion of gastric acid. It is available as 20 and 40 mg tablets. And available as 40 mg granules for oral suspension. And also available as injection. It is used in the treatment of erosive esophagitis, duodenal ulcers and gastric ulcers, and gastroesophageal reflux disease. It is also used in pathological hypersecretory conditions, including Zollinger Ellison syndrome. The usual dose for the treatment of erosive esophagitis is 40 mg once a day for 8 weeks. And the maintenance dose is 40 mg once daily. And for GERD, the usual dose is also 40 mg once a day, for 8 weeks. And when using parenteral preparation, the usual dose is 40 mg intravenous infusion, once a day for 7 to 10 days. And for pathological hypersecretion associated with Zollinger Ellison syndrome, the usual dose is 40 mg two times a day. And the maximum dose is 240 mg per day. And when using parenteral preparation, the usual dose is 80 mg every 12 hours via intravenous infusion, based upon individual patient needs, the dose may be increased to 80 mg every 8 hours. Adverse effects of pantoprazole are usually few, but may include, headache, nausea, abdominal pain, diarrhea and flatulence. Pantoprazole should be taken daily, and not as needed or only when symptoms are present. Tablet formulation should be swallowed whole, without crushing or chewing, and it may be taken, with or without food. For patients unable to swallow a 40 mg tablet, two 20 mg tablets may be taken. Oral suspension, granule formulation should be taken on an empty stomach, preferably 30 to 60 minutes before a meal. And it may be sprinkled into applesauce or mixed into a small volume of either apple juice or orange juice, and swallowed immediately. Advise patients to report any of the following symptoms to their physician. Bloody or coffee ground emesis, black terry stools, recurrent heartburn, recurrent indigestion or abdominal pain, or increasing need for antacid use. That's all for this video. Make sure to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more animated medical videos like this one.